Hello everyone, the clouds here, and so guys, I'm going to review one of my mocks, which is a part of my own advent calendar extended edition, because, well, of course, Christmas uh, is now gone, and I'm still going to, uh, well, making Matawan up until the last day of December, which is tomorrow, so yes, it's um, it's all coming to an end, but still, we have uh, two Matawans left to review, so, well, here we go, so the first, well, the, the Matawan for today is a Matawan made by Peruk, so which is a member of well, who is a member of my vehicle forum, French forum, and uh, well, the color shell for this matter one I decided is kit orange and uh, light blue. So first, the frame which is a metro pelvis, excuse me guys, uh, and then we're going to link the part which will be useful to link the arms and the rest of the body. So it's a connector. Uh, mounted with some parts on the side, which will be useful to link the arms. Of course, this part will be useful to link the head, but for now, as you can see, it moves like that, so it's quite problematic. So we need to uh, put some parts. So this grey part, and I take this occasion to link another uh, light blue part on the back, so to make some uh, more details, and to have a back which is not uh, flat, if I can see so. So the legs, no. Connector and foot, quite simple. There we go. Then the arms, bolts, two connectors, and slicer or screw bolts. And a well fit, but here of course it's used as an hand. Then we're going to link this part this way, so it kind of looks like a little dress, but in my opinion because it goes past forward the end of the uh, metro pelvis. So we can see it kind of like uh, some clothes. Here we go for the head and the canary, which is the Tragano Kamas one, uh, the original one. And our matter one is finished. And so uh, this matter one, so it's a female, uh, well, she is, uh, well, she is the one which uh, with uh, who, excuse me, uh, washes the different type of linen and stuff like that, so sheets and, uh, and stuff like that. So first we need uh, some kind of uh, spin dryer, if I can say so. And so I made one. It looks like that. So I used a collie disc right there to make the two, uh, well, sides of the spin dryer. So obviously the linen uh, will go uh, through this little hole to be uh, dried. Right there, and as you can see, I also put some little gears so you can activate the uh, spin dryer. Only problem is that because uh, this part has uh, well have pin holes and there is a long axle uh, going through. Uh, this means it's not really well linked together. So this means it turns when it wants to turn, and most of the time it won't turn. So the uh, only solution is to let the, article, well, the connection points a little loose, and sometimes it works, but as you can see, most of the time it don't. So well, this part is just for uh, details and decorations, and to show that the matter one can use it and it will work. But of course, uh, with this type of part, it doesn't really work. This part right there is uh, here well, to cover the holes I have here, so and also to add some more details with some gears. The rubber band is also here to add some more details, and then you have the stand part right there. So uh, there is just one part like that on this side, because here you can't put it because of the two gears, as you can see. But apart from that, uh, it works uh, quite fine. So I already said that it, ah, yes, it seems that it wants to work, no, yes, like that. Yeah, as you can see. Sometimes it can work, and it's just like that. I can't really do anything here. apart from that. So here our spin dryer finished. So well, we need to uh, have some type of sheet. So here we go. So you can imagine that, well, you have to kind of put it like that. So you have to imagine that you can turn this thing uh, right there, for example, and then the linen will go through the spin dryer, and then you will need to make it dry on some um, on some closest line, close line, excuse me guys, and so here we go. So yeah, this part is a little loose, it will be too, because the points of connection are already spare, so yeah, I can't really use uh, tons of them, so that's why it moves so much. Uh, and so we're going to put our Linen on some type of pegs right there, 
so it's some exoforce both arms very simple but it will do the job excuse me let me just put this thing in its place right there and here we go you can now uh, let the linen dry and so that's uh, in fact nearly all because well we have our two elements like that our matter one and we also have a little barrel with some waters even if she lives in the storyline uh, near some sea so obviously she will use uh, sea water to uh, wash her clothes and then some other linen which is going to dry in this second barrel so here you go excuse me for that guys and well in fact, that's not all, guys, because yes, today is going to be a double trouble for Matter One, and I'm going to review a second one which has another hobby. So, well, let's just put this part on the side for now. And let's continue our review with a new Matter One. But I guess I will spoil it in the video title, so it's not really, uh, well, it's not really a surprise. Uh, so. Second so matter one, this time it is a frame made by me and at first I didn't really want to use this frame in my advent calendar because I found it not really interesting but well I decided well uh, screw that and uh, let's uh, make all the frame I can make in this uh, new uh, extended advent calendar and well stuff like that. So uh, it's begin with a uh, double small connectors you can see right there this part will be useful to link the arms well the white ball joints is here because I do not have any more black ball joints for now at least. So that's why it's here. We're going to link the legs, quite simple, as you can see, connector, uh, match one leg, well, which is also used as arm and bowock feet. Then our arms will be linked on the back part that I mentioned earlier. We're going to put this little part to cover our double connector, like that. And finally, the head, which will be linked here, and the canoe itself, uh, excuse me, which will be put here. And on that one, well, maybe I'm going to put him in a more straightforward pose. <laughs> it's still not really straightforward, in my opinion. Top looking, uh, funny. Here you go. So it's not the most awesome, awesome one, but I think with this color shame of uh, new dark grey, brown and metro brown, it looks kind of uh, nice. But once again, that's just my opinion, so feel free to write in with your comments and opinions. And so this guy is a, a fisherman, so well, you might already, uh, you might know that I have already made a fisherman uh, way back at the beginning of my advent calendar, but this one, uh, well, the first one used, uh, well, not a fishing rod, but uh, some type of uh, fish net and also some type of spears. And so this one I decided which uh, will use a real fishing rod to fish his fishes. And so here we go. So uh, as you can see, you have a little, uh, well, this, um, this part right there, I forget the name, but still. And you can activate the fishing rod. So obviously this part is just here for details because you don't need uh, a second gear to uh, move up or down my uh, little um, part right there. So here we go, up or down. And that's quite really nice as you can see. No big problems, it's quite simple, you just have to um, put this part between two, well this um, little um, string uh, between two uh, parts, block it between two parts and it will uh, add in a nice way. So here we go. So you need to fish some fish of course. And so the first, well the first one, not the only one in fact, excuse me, uh, will be made with this uh, kina part, notice the teacher part right there. Going to link this Nuva shoulder armor to make the head and going to link this part right there to make the, uh, some more details. And here you go, so of course it's quite a big fish in comparison to the size of the matter one, but I think it's pretty uh, simple and uh, looking good in my opinion. So here you go. 
after fish and then our matter one needs some type of uh, basket to put so I'm going to search for this word guys still so excuse me for that totally forget when I search before the review for some uh, other word uh, um, okay oh okay my my, my dictionary did, did uh yeah yeah a bait obviously okay I knew this word so yes a bait so uh a basket to put his baits so we're going to use excuse me guys if I if you see my arm so we're going to use this part and more precisely we're going to use uh, the design of the part itself to make our basket and so this means we're going to use these holes which at first are not supposed to work like that but you can put axles here now we're going to let slide through this well, first part second one then going to put this part on the side so excuse me guys There you go, and now put the handles right there. And here you go, you have your uh, little basket finish, which can be opened on the sides uh, to uncover some baits, I guess, even if I didn't uh, make them, but you can still imagine, I guess, right? It's Lego, so use, uh, use your imagination. And I think that's all for this guy. And the nice thing I like about this uh, frame is that you can put him in some nice pose. So, for example, with his legs like that. Here, then you just have to put his fishing rod in his hand, put this little part in his hand because, well, it's what it's supposed to do. Here you go. Stop moving it, then on the one and his little basket. And so uh, I don't know if I mentioned that in the earlier review uh, of the week, but all the well the last four Matawan I have reviewed all come from the same city in the storyline, and so that means we're going to put them in a group. So well, here we go. The review is still not yet finished, but well, you have seen the two matter of the day, so if you want to stop the review because well, it's too long for you, uh, just go ahead, you can. You will not miss anything apart from the last group shot. Awesome, guys, you already know. So first, this platform will be put here. So you must remember this guy. He is the city leader, or the mayor, if you want. So with the city key, Little parts to make up, well, little elements to make his speech from, and a statue which uh, seems to break right there. Statue of some past tower of the city. Here we go. On the side, this part to move on the statue. On the back, also, his assistant, which uh, checks that everything goes fine. Then we're going to put this little part which you uh, have seen yesterday they were with the matter one with uh, his um, on glider excuse me and so you see they will be helpful to make more details to the city landscape here we go the bench which will be put right there then I'm going to put my uh, Matawan uh, and his groceries right there, so the vegetables seller, which will be put here with his stand. So I will show you everything uh, when I'm done with that, guys. So sorry for the little inconvenience if you don't uh, see everything. I'm going to put our newest addition right there on the side with well water and just a spin dryer uh, the matter one and his on glider still on his roller skate <laughs> we still do stupid stuff on some bench on the back i guess 
there we go uh, and then I'm going to put the matter one on the back because what is supposed to to fish in the sea not on the ground quite stupid oh okay that's fine I'm okay with that but I'm sure you can stand still well and here you go our little uh, village is finished so you have our matawan uh, the matawan fishing right there uh, with his little basket the fish is fishing wood then you have the uh, clothesline right there with some sheets and uh, other uh, stuff like that you have Amatoan which sells some vegetables, fruits and stuff like that, fishes also for example. Then you have the center of the town uh, with some plants right there, the statue, the mayor and his key, his assistant, the bench with our guy in his hand glider, and finally our Matawan uh, washing some, uh, well, some stuff I guess, or waiting uh, to wash some stuff. And I think that's all for this review guys, so hope you enjoyed uh, all this Matawan from this city. And well, that said, uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask them as usual. I will happy to uh, we I will happy to read them and answer them. And also, we'll see you tomorrow for the last review of our Advent Calendar Extended Edition. Because yes, I'm not going to go on uh, in January. So yes, tomorrow will be the last matter one of our little uh, series of video. And that, that said, uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day and straight off another video with you. Bye bye!